This is where we left off in the last Blender Beginner tutorial. We had this wood material on the army crate. And in this video, we are going to have a look at the metal texture and potentially some text on there as well. All right, so I'm going to go into the shading editor here. Uh, I'm going to select a piece of the metal here. I click new and I'm going to type, type metal. And we've got this stuff down here as soon as I do that. All right, so this is usually how your material will start off with a principal BSDF and the material output. So many of these metal textures, and there's so many of them on the internet that you can that you can find, um, start you know very similarly. They either use Musgrave or Noise or a combination or maybe Way. So I'm going to press Shift A texture, Musgrave texture. I'm going to press Control T, and I'm going to switch this to Object. And that'll give me a texture coordinate and mapping. And that'll just put the texture uh, nicely on my object. And I'm going to use a color ramp, converter color ramp. And that'll give me some control. I'm going to take the height down into the fact and the color into the base color. We'll give that a moment and we'll start to see some stuff on there. All right, and from here, you just sort of play around with these values. I might switch that to multi-fractal. We'll see if I like it like that or not. Try eight. Maybe I'll go for nine. Bring the detail up to the max. Now we have that. Let's switch back and see how how that looks. Um, if you play with this, you can adjust how this all looks. And over here, you can adjust the color of your metal. So if I didn't want it white, if I wanted it a little bit uh, bluish or brownish, you see what that does. All right, I'll just leave that about there. Okay, so. We have that starting. All right, we'll get it on all of the other pieces uh, in a while. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add some noise. So I'm just going to take this one, Shift D to duplicate it and bring it down, and I'm going to press Shift S, texture noise, and that just switches it to noise. I'm going to grab these and pull them out. Take this and plug it into the vector there. So we're using the same stuff over there. Okay, I'm going to do a color ramp, and that's why I can just take that one, Shift D to duplicate it down, and I'm going to come in here and I can just reset it. I'm going to take the FAC into the FAC, and I want to make some bump on this, so I'm going to use a vector bump, drop that down, take the color, plug it into the height, take the normal, plug it into the normal. All right, so now we have this. Let's come over here to the principal BSDF though and slide the metallic all the way up. So it looks more like metal. All right, so we have that. And now we're going to adjust this. Zero point, try 0 0.1 first, and you see what it does. So I think still think that's too much. So 0 0.05 might, might do the trick, maybe even a little bit less than that. Let's try 9.5 the detail 16 try 0 0.6 for that okay that's not bad and what we want to do is come over look at it and lay out here okay let's get this on everything let's hide the wood select it all shift select that last control L and link materials so it's on everything now I'll come back. You can see it there. Maybe I'll change this a little bit to a bit more of a bluish color for my metal. All right. That's good. The last thing that I'm going to want to do is adjust the roughness here. I'm going to take this color ramp and copy it up here a little bit. Take the fac and plug it into here and i want to mix the noise and the musgrave and i'm going to bring them into the roughness to affect the roughness here so i'm going to use a mix rgb that's under color mix rgb there i'll take the color ramp plug it in here i'll take the height of this one plug it in there i'm going to switch this to multiply we'll try that slide it all the way up and we'll plug that into the roughness so we get some really bright spots on there 
you can then adjust this and change the color of this a little bit And we start to get a really interesting effect. Now, let's try switching this over to darken. And I get that. I'm going to come back up here to my first color ramp. And I'm going to change the colors. And I want to darken this metal here like that. I'm going to take this one and slide it up a little bit. And now I have just a darker metal what I, that I think suits this a little bit better. If I do it like that, I think it looks really nice. Okay. So you can adjust all those parameters to your liking, but that's what I'm going to go with for the metal. The last thing that I want to do in this video is to add some text onto here and make it grungy. I'm going to select the box. I'm going to select the front of it. Shift S, cursor to selected. Bring my cursor there. Shift A, image, images as planes. Find your PNG and import. And there it is. I'm going to go into edit mode. I'm going to rotate X90 and pull it out just a little bit. All right, so there, there it is. There's my text that I want to put on. Now, don't worry, it doesn't have to be in that exact position. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go Control R and do that. And then I'm going to do Control R again there, Control B, and split it till it's just above and below the text. In face selection number three, I'm going to select this stuff. And we can get rid of that. We don't need it, so I have just that. All right. I've also got a split in the middle, so I'm going to take this and I'm going to go P, separate by selection, and I now have two pieces, and I can slide that over, and I can slide that over, and I can put the same material on that. When I brought in that text, it created this for me. So this says U.S. Army Weapons PNG, and it connects to the base color that gives me the white. And it connects to the alpha because there's a, a mask there and that makes it transparent the next thing i'm going to do i think before we work on this is i'll make this adhere to the box so we'll select that little piece there and the modifiers i'm going to choose shrink wrap and with the eyedropper i'm going to select the front of the crate and i'm going to leave it right there in the offset i'm going to change this to 0 0.001 so just ever so slightly coming out and i'm going to do the same for this one Select the crate, 0 0.001 for the offset. Now, if you wanted a really clean look, you could just leave it like that. Or you can add a grunge map or image to this to sort of break it up, to make it look a little bit more natural. So there's different ways to do this as well, but this is the way that I'm going to show you right now. I'll provide you the grunge image so you can download that as well and just mess around with it. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to open up that image it's grunge overlay one png you can just download it from me and from, you know, just follow the link i'm going to add a color ramp here i'm going to connect the alpha of the grunge to the color ramp i want to mix these two together so i'm going to create or bring in actually a mix rgb I'm going to take the color here to color one, and I'm going to take the alpha of the actual text to color two. I'm going to slide this all the way up, and I'm going to turn this to multiply. I'm going to plug this into the alpha. And now you can see that. If I play with these values, that will affect this. So let me move this. You see it disappearing. All right, so the grunge map is cutting away at the text. 
so you can have more or less as you as you like sometimes I will put a color ramp in here as well to adjust uh, this text I can use this to change the color of my text if I want to dull it a little bit so I'm going to leave it I think like that let's come back and have a look there we go the last thing really would be to bring in a camera and render this um, or you can just you know choose an HDR that you like turn this stuff off and take a screenshot and that will work just fine so I'm gonna leave the lighting and the camera stuff uh, for another time uh, I'll just leave it at that but there you go there's our wood and our metal and our text so like I say I'll provide the text and the grunge map if you want to just quickly do this and beyond that you know make your own text and and find a grunge map of your own to put in and try it and adjust the values and put text here and there to see what you think looks best all right so thank you very much for watching this little series I hope it helped out a little bit and we'll see you next time